So I hope you can see me. Um, I would do this on my laptop and my camera, but um, I'm trying to get stuff off my camera. So I'm going to do it on my phone because then, and then it doesn't use up too much of my uh, memory on my laptop. Uh, but this video is about uh, jealousy and how it can really affect your life and uh, something that isn't a good trait and that you can... It can make you uh, go against someone and hurt that person. And uh, I have to, touched on it uh, through, through my other videos that I've put together uh, for my life coaching program, Project 2021. And um, it's just that, you know, we've all, I've been uh, a jealous person um, once upon a time. And, um, you know, and being begrudging and envious, but it's not a good trait to have because it's only saying that you're, um, that you're, uh, sort of using your insecurity to attack someone else. And that is, you know, not going to get you anywhere. It's just going to make them not want to, you know, be near you. Just be near you um but at the end of the day everybody's entitled to a happy life and you should not if you are experiencing those emotions and those feelings not I'm saying that you can't feel anything because everybody has a right to be human and uh, be happy but at the end of the day uh, if you're going to be super jealous then that's something that you need to address because all it's going to do is hurt you, not, not that other person as such, um, because I use it as a way of gaining more strength uh, against those that I've uh, come across that's been uh, jealous of me, and and I even question not why, because I've been very insecure at times, I, I can't always look in the mirror, um, I do struggle sometimes with uh, the image that I see in my head and compared to the image that I see when I look, you know, at my reflection. Um, and you've to, if you want people to love you and respect you and you to be happy, then you've got to give as well as receive, you know. Uh, it comes hand in hand and you've just got to be respectful of others. Don't be jealous and just um, find something that makes you happy. Um, and that's not hurting somebody else, because when you hurt somebody else, all you're doing is not gaining friends, you're gaining enemies and people not wanting to be near you. Um, and you need to, if you want a better life, you then do have to address those uh, uh, feelings that are restricting you uh, to be happy because you're being jealous of somebody else. Um and just, you know, uh, I think that my um, opinion is that as soon as you uh, change into a woman... Um, now, um, I struggled when I first went from child to teenager very much. I w wasn't ready for it. I was a bit like, oh, you know, I, I was wanting to stay a kid for a little bit longer. Uh, but nature has a way of creeping up on you it does uh, but you've got to if the, you've got feelings that are gonna make you feel um unworthy uh f make you feel like you haven't had anything in your life then you need to address those issues because all you're doing is you're hurting yourself you're not hurting anybody else and it is something that you do need to l look at and um you know control you know, uh, because how would you feel if they, you know, when the shoes on the other foot is different, you know, and I've learned that myself, and um, I've not been an angel in any shape or form, but I do care, um, I do love other people, I do, I'm a, very much a people's person, even though sometimes, and I, it's going to sound off now, even though, yes, I have suffered with social anxiety, which you think, well, how can you be a people's person if you suffer with that? It's not that I don't like people. It's because that um, I am very self-aware of myself a lot. And 
I, uh, if I'm in an environment where I feel there's tension or I feel like uh, out of place, then um, it is very difficult for me. But I still love uh, people. I love watching people on YouTube and going about their daily life. Um, I love, um, you know, watching, and it's going to sound really creepy now. <laughs> and let me just say, I, I've, got, I've got a son, right? <laughs> and I'm not like that. But I do love watching uh, kids playing football in the park and you know, being happy-go-lucky. I love watching, um, you know, uh, family life, other people's family lives. Um, because it kind of gets you in touch with um, other people and, you know, that you're not on your own. Uh, we've all been had they had those feelings but they aren't good in any way i know some people say that jealousy can be healthy but from my experience uh what i've learned in the last say six five years um because i've had to do a lot of growing up um in some respects um is that no it's not a, not healthy to be jealous at all because you can then start attacking those that you're jealous of and then you know, you end up being the worst version of yourself, which is not, I'm sure, that you're, is not what you intended. And it's just going to bring the wall down on you, not on that person. So, um, so you know, control those feelings. And the best way of doing that is to write down uh, what I, uh, you know, whenever I felt about it, I would say to myself, well, what do I want for that person then? Do I want them to get hurt? No. Do I want them to see them uh, and are homeless without money and, and food? And I'm like, no, no, I don't. So, you know, if you do find you're you having those feelings, ask yourself, you know, what is it about them that's making you unhappy? Because um, you probably will find it's something that's not fulfilling you in your life. And so it could be the simple case of finding your identity, because that is something you do have to work on. Because I didn't know myself uh, as a kid. I struggled to know who I was. Um, cause I felt restricted sometimes. So I couldn't be myself. Um, and it can be due to people being around you, you know. Because um, I find je jealousy can be like a contagious feeling as such. Um, same with when you see someone being sad or someone uh, laughing, you know. Um, and it is something that you do need to address if it's affecting your relationships with friends, family, you know. Um, and it is something that you do need to kick out. So um, thank you for watching. There will be more videos to come. And um, I'll see you again soon. Take care.